أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اقرأ باسم ربك الذي خلق خلق الإنسان من علق اقرأ وربك الأكرم الذي علم بالقلم علم الإنسان ما لم يعلم اقرأ The first word to be revealed onto mankind in joint reading. Reading is the key to knowledge and knowledge is the starting point of all activities in Islam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran that he provided us with the tools to acquire knowledge and made it obligatory upon us to seek knowledge. In Surah Al-Zumar, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Are those who have knowledge equal to those who do not have knowledge? The Islamic Education Institute, which is the umbrella organization for Dar ibn Abbas and Dar al-Qur'an al-Kareem, aims to facilitate Muslims to acquire sacred knowledge with the aim to sow the seeds of the prophetic character in Australia. Dar ibn Abbas has been operating at Bankstown, Sydney for five years. It has filled in a void in the area by providing five daily and Jummah prayers. The center accommodates a congregation of about 400 worshippers with exclusive facilities for women with children. Dar ibn Abbas is not only a prayer center. It seeks to manifest the guidance of the Quran and prophetic teachings in the lives of Australian Muslims. It provides a space for Muslims to acquire authentic sacred knowledge and to be part of a community living the prophetic example. Through educating our youth, the future generations will be the torchbearers of Islamic values and play an effective role in the call to Islam in Australia. Dar ibn Abbas delivers Sharia courses for men and boys in the English and Arabic languages, which teach Qur'an, jurisprudence, Sirah, the biography of Prophet Muhammad وسلم, and other Islamic disciplines. Its sister organization, Dar Aisha, which was established in 2003, also offers Sharia courses for women and girls. The courses are offered in the English and Arabic languages at Lakemba and Auburn campuses. Dar ibn Abbas also delivers weekly talks for men, women and children focusing on moral and spiritual development, as well as courses for new Muslims focusing on foundational principles of Islamic law. All courses are taught by teachers who studied at the hands of scholars who trace their knowledge back to the Prophet Muhammad It is this commitment to the dissemination of traditional authentic Islamic knowledge in accordance with the inherited methods that makes Dar ibn Abbas a vital Islamic education institute in Australia. Dar al-Qur'an has been operating for 14 years as a full-time Qur'an memorization school. It is Sydney's first and longest running full-time Qur'an memorization school. The aim is to nurture the love of the Qur'an in Australian youth who insha'Allah will be the future preservers of the Qur'an in our communities. Dar al-Qur'an currently operates from the Dar ibn Abbas premises. Over 160 students have graduated from Dar al-Qur'an. Many of the students have moved on to pursue further studies in Islamic sciences both locally and overseas, and some have become scholars of Islam, while many others have become imams of mosques and prayer centres around Sydney. This is what some of the previous students have had to say about Dar al-Qur'an. To pursue something like this, I had to go overseas. So I started off and I went to India, and then I had to go to Fiji. Now these environments were quite extreme for, I was like 13 years old at the time, so India was a, a harsh environment for me, and Fiji was quite tough, so it was actually quite relief, a, a big relief to find that there was a madrasa here in Sydney that I could attend, which was still in proximity with my family, um, in a place, I'm, I'm an Australian, I was born here, and this place was very important to me, for me to be able to do this in my own home country. The time that I spent in this madrasa will have an everlasting effect on me. It changed my outlook on life. It, brought me, it, it set me a foundation for me for the rest of my life. It set me on a path towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, and it's something we can never repay. This madrasa was unique. It was in Australia, but it has the light, the spirituality, and the heart-touching feeling like the old school madaris here. You can picture in your mind like you're sitting in Assyria, in Baghdad, you're sitting in Egypt, because they were great scholars. They have very strong rabd, a link between 
heart of a student in them. And from this madrasa, actually, I, I, I felt that I should go abroad to learn knowledge. So all this power for my 10 years of yani, studying overseas, I got it from this madrasa. And this madrasa was kind of a base for me to go overseas and learn. The Islamic Education Institute has secured a property in Condell Park with the aim of establishing the Condell Park Masjid. Insha'Allah, the Masjid will provide five daily and Jummah prayers as well as Sharia courses for men, women and children. The Masjid will also, insha'Allah, provide a permanent home for the current 60 full-time memorizers of the Qur'an. This is your opportunity to take part in the learning and teaching of the Qur'an and to take on the transmission of sacred knowledge in Australia. Seize this opportunity and donate today. This is an investment in the future of our coming generations and this is not just a, a financial investment or anything, this is an intellectual investment that this, this brings on this critical thinking that's required in our, in our youth who are coming up in this country, in a Western civilization, to understand that we are part of this country and that we are Muslims and we are Australians at the same time. And to do this in, in, the same, in this environment is the most important thing. For us to go overseas and to, to um, bring the same knowledge home does not have the same impact as it would if we were here within our own community. It is about the soul that is within and that is the Qur'an it is about the knowledge that is being taught. It is, being, it is about being connected to that chain of transmission that is directly to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alihi Wa Sahbihi Wa Sallam. It is a cause that Yawm Al Qiyamah, inshallah, you'll see the benefit of it. So give what you can, please, and be very generous to the, towards this cause. Wazakumullah khairan. <laughs> القرآن لأعطر منه الأكوان وأرتله وأجوده وأروي من الظمآن بتلاوته روحي تسمو بتدبره عقلي ينمو بتلاوته روحي تسمو بتدبره عقلي ينمو ويزول به عني الغم فظل سعيدا فرحانا Yeah.